co-captain of the Eagles. Icon in the city of Philadelphia. My favorite Eagle in my lifetime. And a loving husband and father of three girls at home. Be careful with your slipper. Higher? Now Jason Kelsey is also the star of the new documentary Kelsey, streaming on Amazon Prime Video. I thought Chelsea was at the end of his career. This guy's the best center in the league. We tried to be as organic as possible, as authentic as possible, really let people into our lives and our heads and kind of everything that happens through the course of an NFL season. A season that ultimately ended just a few minutes and points short of a Super Bowl win for the Eagles and their star center. I've been contemplating retirement for a number of years, and I thought it'd be interesting to follow a player going in, into that. Feels like all of the you know, post-career documentaries are really done after the story's told, and having watched a lot of my former teammates go through it, I thought it would be interesting to capture it all on film. I think for a lot of people, a retirement is just a post on Instagram or a tweet. That's how it's presented to the outside world. And I think to be able to see what unfolds prior to that social media post now, it's an interesting thing to get an inside look at. Uh, I think it's very um, humbling to be able to see it back, but also to just be there for the, the battle of it. If this is my last year, I don't want it to be bad. I want to go out with a good season and a good team. When you started filming, you didn't know how this would end. No, I still don't know how it's gonna end. Kelsey ultimately did opt to return for a 13th season, but that decision came after a Super Bowl matchup for the history books, squaring off against his brother Travis and the Kansas City Chiefs. As the country fell in love with the Kelsey brothers, their mom Donna became a fan favorite. I think um, I've been in the league for 13 years and Mom did more endorsement deals in two weeks than I did my whole career. So, no, I mean. She earned it. I think she's a down-to-earth person that people connect with. And it was, it was fun to see her get that national spotlight and be a representative for a lot of guys' moms. Just before a new season kicked off, we caught up with Donna. How do you describe that Super Bowl experience? Oh, man, it was really surreal. It was just a wonderful thing. I, I, I don't think I would have ever have imagined that it could have happened. And it's just, just a wonderful thing for the family to be able to do together. What would it take for this season to top last? Oh, definitely another Kelsey Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about that? But along with the highs, the documentary shows in intimate moments how the spotlight affects Kelsey and his loved ones. I don't think that people realize the beating you're taking then impacts the way that like you interact with your family. Sometimes it's just sheer ex exhaustion. There have been a number of times where we've explained that dad can't sit on the floor for that long. So there is approximately like a 10 minute timer for on the floor games until Jason's butt has to make it to the couch, a soft surface. It's hard, it's hard to play in the NFL, it really is. Not only is it hard physically, and it's getting harder physically the older you get, it's hard mentally and it's hard uh, with the amount of time that it takes to do it properly and to do it well. Um, it's hard um, to get up for practice and be there day in, day out. I will say that when it's a winning season, it's a lot different. Uh, I give the example last year towards the end of the season, he got out of bed one day, it was after a game day, and he was hobbling across the room. And I said, what is it? And he said, what do you mean? And I said, is it your ankle? Is it your knee? And he said, I don't know what you mean. And I said, well, you're hobbling. And he was like, oh, I didn't even notice. And so in a season where it might not be going as well, I feel like the aches and pains hurt a lot more. That is really difficult to watch. So outside of just wanting him to be successful, their team to be successful, and as an Eagles fan, the Eagles to be successful, ultimately to hear that his aches and pains aren't quite hurting as terribly is a little bit of a relief, but it's it's a long season. Um, it's a lot of time in the off season preparing for the season. So even even that that preparation is a massive commitment. And I think the fact that he keeps having a moment a month really after the season ends of well, I really think I want to do that again, or I'm not ready to walk away, is um, ultimately his choice. And 
every time we have the conversation, which has been quite a few times now, it's just been whatever you choose, we'll be here and we'll do what we've done. Jason and his wife Kylie have a classic love story for their generation. They met on Tinder. Now married for six years, they have three daughters, Wyatt, Elliot, and their youngest Bennett, who was born just a few days after the Super Bowl. I was definitely rooting for it to happen at the Super Bowl. A thousand percent he for was. Sure. Uh, you were not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was crossing my legs and, and fingers, trying not to let anything happen. But with the success of the season, came new exciting opportunities and challenges. One week after Bennett arrived, Jason joined his younger brother Travis in New York as he hosted SNL. How's the day going? Just fine? Love you, Ellie. See you, Kai. Oh, that was great. Yeah, not up for dad of the year right now. Or husband of the year. When you guys are on the phone and you're at Saturday Night Live, yeah. the relatability was there 100%. I really felt like I appropriately iced him. Anyone who has been around someone who's given birth or given birth themselves, I think knows how the amnesia kicks in. So I didn't really remember having that phone call, but watching it back, I thought, yeah, feel that. Yeah. <laughs> I did. What is the secret to making it work? We do our absolute best to communicate with each other. We're the most important thing in both of our lives and like everything else takes a back seat. I'm curious, Kylie, you've been so open you know on social media and whatnot why is it important to you to make sure people have a realistic understanding of what it's like to be married to a professional athlete i think there is a population of women who are uh married to dating engaged to um individuals who play in the nfl or other professional sports that um really like enjoy indulging in uh, the finer things in life. And that's not necessarily how I was raised or, or what I enjoy. So um, I think that staying authentic to that and uh, it has just been easy to portray that because it's how our house is and how I am. Can you even imagine this life, these kids, doing all that you do with, without the superwoman that Kylie is by your side for all of this, would just like no, sing your praises, not. go nuts. Of course not. Um, you know, we were talking earlier about you know, when I watch a documentary, what am I seeing? And a lot of these things are, you know, when I'm at work or at a game, you know, you know that Kylie's taking care of the girls and you're appreciative and that she's getting everything in a row to come to the games, but also just be there for me. Um, but, you know, seeing it on the documentary, it's like a whole nother level of it. And I think that Kylie does such an unbelievable job of keeping the household, like, whole and like, making sure the girls are taken care of, making sure I'm taken care of. The way we've sort of functioned is that uh, family decisions, family things, for the most part, I think, function independently from his occupation. So our family will continue to function the same way where we'll make it work yeah. and uh, accommodate schedules and things like that. But, um, but we're, we're excited to know that for right now, in, unless anything crazy changes, that we're settled here and, and we know sort of what we have going on here with raising the family. Kylie keeps me sane in a lot of regards. And like, she's the one person that I talk to about everything that's happening. She's way smarter than me. So anything I get the... It's only because he gets hit in the head. Yeah, she's got <laughs> great instincts and everything I, everything I do, um, everything we do, we talk to each other about. And, you know, I think you know, we have the utmost respect and admiration for each other. And we're open and honest. And I think that that just helps you be more confident in anything you're doing. Where does Jason, the football player, end and Jason, the dad, begin? Um, well, I'm always Jason, the dad, so that doesn't end. And I, I mean, for right now, I'm Jason, the football player. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think I, like, separate home and work that much. I try to be 
involved everywhere. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, Jason, the football player, is going to end one day for sure. Uh, but right now I'm still that. And when you're at work or when you're out on the field, you can only be one place at a time. And I try to be only one place at a time when I'm with the girls, even though that is hard at times uh, when you're thinking about a million different things. But we find a way to get it done, for sure. And I'm sure that it doesn't hurt that the girls are always ecstatic to see him. You can see it when he enters the house. Even if it's a rough day at work, the, the switch flips. And he definitely sort of lets a little bit go more quickly just so that he can interact with the girls and be happy with them. Their smiles alone, will, doesn't matter what you're going through. What's left to accomplish on the football field? I don't know. I don't really think of the accomplishments. I think I just enjoy the process. I enjoy being with my teammates. I enjoy game planning. Going into the game, even though it's chaos and there's going to be points where it's miserable because it's not going well, um, You know, all of these things keep you alive. They keep you going. They keep adrenaline pumping. The fun part is the journey and going through it with a bunch of guys and like-minded people. And a partner like this one. No doubt, yeah. How important is it to you to share some of these experiences with your girls while well, you huge. are still playing? Yeah, huge. And, you know, I don't know how much they're going to remember Wyatt. Hopefully now she's a, about to turn four, so she'll have a little bit of memory of these things when she's older. But even just the pictures and having them for me, you know, these are moments that were they're going to be gone, and I want to make sure that we have pictures and 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 that the people that I and we care about most are there with us. And um, I think it's, you know, it's probably more for me than it is even for them at this point, or us. I mean, they're, they're his biggest fans because they appreciate him for sitting down at bedtime and reading books or doing puzzles on the floor. When home feels that good, it's easy to go out into the world and be like, I got this. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.